ki khubor ka bati si tv lawan ra se phida ka umsingam bits aqua na molai moro ha ka jingdap san snem jongka rengkat ka three olives restaurant m crown hotel khindai lat shillong bat ka orange nissan loan so po shillong one ban thiet ya ka kali dat san very go bathmai ka bas khem bat bit door Unong ay kitin jong kaseng kongres u Zenit Sangma u lakano ba u kunum jong u menteri rang baka jela u Sanjay A. Sangma u lalum pisa bayan na kitrok ibaya lembak surok ba National Highway 62. Habak ren syakilat patay kubor u Zenit u laong ba u Sanjay A. Sangma u lalum pisa bayan hagador jong ka kajna katkum ka hukum balapan mi daka Garo Hills Autonomous District Council nrei u labu jingkelipat nangno ka GHADC ka yok bor ban lum kajna haba ka District Council ka yok laka jong ka bha na ka sorkar jela. Katkum ka jingkeno jong u niu MLA ka seng kongres na rang sakona constituency la ong ba menshua ki lum san sepak tengka na kawai ketrok nerai mentapat ki lalum syihajar tengka. Halor kani u la ong ba ki ladon ki ban lej ujor sya u deputy commissioner jong ka North Garo Hills District bat ia kani ka jing ujor ka office u DC ka lapak sya ka office jong u SP nerai la ong pat bala lapen ban bala senran lang da ki pulit ha kepor ba ki lej man lum pisa na ketrok. Ula kena bakani ke peni palang ia ke rukam terikam jongani ke sorkar ke bementa ke bayalam da u konrat ke sangma. The GHADC arbitrarily issued a order in the pretext of collecting monopoly tax from the coal trucks, coal monopoly, on the NS60. Now my question is, under which provision of the law the GHADC has issued this order? The paper is with me. So I repeat, under which provision of the law or the rule of the GHADC this kind of order has been issued by the GHS. Whereas, uh, whereas the GHS is getting its share of the royalty when through the step down. So it is very, very illegal and it's a height of The grit that is being reflected from the actions of this. And this kind of signboard has been put up there. Office of the Garyos Autonomous District Council. That means the authority of the JHDC should be present, wherein the lazy only is collecting the money. From the first day onwards, rupees 500 per gold legend truck was collected from yesterday onwards, is it has been increased to 1,000 per truck. So, our people, some of the uh, responsible citizens from the North Carolinas, they had made a complaint before the Deputy Commissioner of North Garvis and the DC concern has endorsed it to the SP concern to take necessary action. Whereas after the complaint was received, rather these people were collecting money from the coal trucks illegally under police protection. <coughs> this is the state of affairs in our state, very unfortunate. Whereas, we can see the plight of the employees of the JCDC. For last more than 30 months, the employees of the Garrels Autonomous District Council are not getting their salary. 
have we ever found that for such a long period of time, the employees are not getting salary? How do you survive? There is a saying in English proverb, empty stomach breeds terrorism. So, it reflects the insensitivity and the inefficiency of the government. Even the SSC teachers, for last more than four months, they have not receiving their salaries. The employees of different public se sector undertakings are not getting salaries. So this is the kind of situation where this present leadership is running the government. It is very, very unfortunate to see this kind of mismanagement as far as the governance is concerned. The initial employees, grade 1 and 2, have not been paid their salary since October 2020. And all other categories since November 2020 till date. Even the pensioners are not getting their pensions. During this festive time, we can understand the agonies and the hardships being faced by the employees of the initial, including its pensioners. The schemes like Sobhagya and Din Dal Upadhyat Dramin Jyoti Yojana, DDUGJY, has created more liabilities to emission due to inefficient handling and corruption. Loan of huge amount, thereby increasing the liabilities of the company. And when the repayment of the loan will be more than its capacity. Obviously, it will be a burden which cannot be rectified and ultimately when there will be complete collapse of financially collapse, then the situation will compel the government to privatize the emission. We cannot allow emission with more than 4,000 employees to die because of inefficient management of the government and we have been repeatedly raising these issues. both inside the house and outside the house as well. As in democratic system, we the politicians, elected representatives, we have to go back to the people to seek its mandate after every three day, five years. There has been narrative circulating around that this corrupt government is surviving because of the regional parties. And these regional parties are supporting this present government because they are also getting share. The largest constituent being having the lion's share. These are narratives. People are talking. So ultimately, these people will not be forgiven by the people of the state. People will not forgive them. 
so it is heightened. All the friends from the regional parties should take a conscious decision and act on it accordingly.